I'm Deanna Figuera and I am going to be teaching a class on chocolate. So one of the things that we're going to make on February 13th is Mayan chocolate truffles. Let's get started. I have some dark chocolate and it's 60% cacao. So I'm going to chop the chocolate, heating the coconut milk and some coconut oil. I'm going to put the zest of one orange into the chocolate. Adding a fresh vanilla bean just increases the yumminess. Just gently scrape all the inside. Now I'm going to add the chipotle powder, the cinnamon, and the contents of the vanilla bean and give that a little stir. And then I'm going to add the hot coconut milk and um, coconut oil. It's pretty good and melted. Just stir it with a whisk until everything is really well blended have to tell you this smells amazing. Mmm. <laughs> Depending on the chocolate that you use and even the coconut milk, sometimes it turns out perfect right from the beginning and you can just go ahead and shape it into a log. And sometimes it ends up a little runny. And because it's runny, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer. If I had more time today, I would just stick it in the fridge overnight or for a few hours. So now we're gonna take this, um, the chilled chocolate and put it on the parchment paper. This is a, it's a really good texture now. Kind of smash it down a little bit and then we're gonna roll the parchment paper, form it into a nice firm log. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, it's really nice to have them a little misshapen. There's nothing like fresh homemade chocolates knowing the ingredients that you put in, the love that you put into it. So, so much of what we eat is about the energy that we put into our food and our cooking. So if you make these with love, it's gonna be so much better on Valentine's Day.